Okay, let's talk about the forge we're going to build. Now, in my particular situation, I want to be able to work in my shop, um, rain or shine, so I want to be able to do these videos rain or shine, so that means being in my shop. Unfortunately, my shop doesn't have a chimney that will handle a coal forge, so I'm going to be using propane. That's kind of what I'm limited to, so I'm going to use propane. Um, so if you can make, tr I did a whole video about what you should think about um, when you're choosing your forge. So hop over, I put it in the description down below if you haven't seen it yet. Take a, a little peek. Um, and if you do decide you're going to go propane, well come back here and I'll show you the forge I'm going to build. So pretty well what you need for it is I got five of these fire bricks. They're rated for 2600 degrees Fahrenheit. You can get the 2300 degrees Fahrenheit, but I've heard of other blacksmiths actually burning them when they're using it in a forge. Now, the forge I'm building now probably won't get up to that temperature, but I plan on using these bricks later on for a bigger forge. So, right at this point in time, I'd rather go spend a little bit extra money right now and not worry about getting actually new bricks later. So I got five of them and these are four and a half by two by nine inches long. Um, like I said, got five of them. Um, the burner I got is a firepower burner. Um, this is one that Princess Auto sells. Um, hope you can see that okay. Um, this one retails, I think I picked it up for like 50 bucks, um, but also um, if you're not in Canada and you can't make it to Princess Auto, um, then I'm going to actually put links below to, a, you know, ones that are equivalent and good, and I've heard from other blacksmiths that that's the ones they recommend. So I'll put that in the links below just in case if you can't get this firepower one. Um, also going to be using... A 20 pound tank now if you can't if you don't have a 20 pound tank and you're going to use the little tanks that's fine I highly recommend using a 20 pound tank or bigger and getting one of these adapters that goes into your propane tank and then hooks on to the back of your on to the back of your burner basically it's an adapter to change from the smaller bottles to using the 20 kilo uh, sorry the 20 pound <laughs> bottles um, I like this a lot because I have frozen out little bottles with these burners um, where I haven't been able to freeze out a 20 pound tank until it gets really low. Um, so I highly recommend getting one of these adapters. This one I picked up I think at Walmart a couple of years ago for like 25 bucks. But like I said I'll find one on Amazon and uh, link it below. So. It's going to be a simple build, so I'm going to bring you in a little bit to show you exactly how I do the build. And, uh, yeah. The reason why I'm going with the, the five brick system um, is, beca is because I plan on using these bricks to line my forge later. So I don't want to hollow it out with it like a two brick or a one brick uh, system. So with a four brick or five brick system, you have one laying on the bottom, flat. Now do this on a non-combustible, flammable, you know, steel or even concrete would be okay, or even dirt if you're doing this outside. Um, so just one flat on side, one on it, one flat, one on its side at the side of it, one on its side on top of the other one, like so. And then this on its side, like that. Now, if you have a nice flat surface, you actually don't need to hold any of this together because the bricks will actually line up and hold themselves nicely. Uh, I gotta find a nice spot on my bench because unfortunately this bench is a little warped. Oh, I was on a, a washer, sorry. So. Just line them up kind of like that and you get a nice little square hole there and then the other one goes 
on the back to keep the heat from just flying out of the back. Now, <clears throat> for the burner, because I'm using it on a hose, I'm going to probably put it in so it goes in kind of like that. Um, probably kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drill a hole all the way through the side brick here. I'm probably going to go, I don't know, about maybe a third down and angle it a little bit to the back. Um, so I'll show you the draw. So I'm going to actually flip you around so you can see a better angle of where I plan on putting a burner in. Unfortunately, my lighting is not up to par on this side of the shop. I am working on getting that better. Um, if you want to help me out with the, the lighting, you know, go to Patreon, you know, buy my stuff, buy my, buy me a coffee. All those sponsor links are below, so feel free to, to help me out with that. So basically where I'm going is basically down here, going on a little bit of an up angle, like that. And I don't want the burner to actually be right in the fire in the hole. So I'm going to actually put it so the burner goes a little bit less into probably sitting like that. So how do we actually, so I'm going to just grab a Sharpie quickly and I'm going to mark out roughly where I am going to go. So like I said, I'm going to go about two thirds back. I mean one third back and I'm just going to mark out roughly where the burner is going to go. Like so. Just like that's the hole. And I kind of want it to go backwards into the fire into the fire pit or the fire hole. So kind of trying to aim for that kind of shape there. So as you can see it's going back. So I'm gonna use a drill with a size a drill bit big enough to actually fit the nozzle in. Now if you don't have a drill and a drill bit, um, you can do this even with just a plain screwdriver like a flathead screwdriver or Phillips and just slowly chisel, take your time, just slowly whittle away at it. Um, these bricks are quite fragile so if you put too much pressure on them they will break. Also wear a dust mask when you're doing this because this stuff is not good on your lungs. So I'm going to grab my drill and uh, so this one I'm just going to use my cordless drill because it is a little bit slower than my corded one. Um, like I said, you can do this with a screwdriver if you need to. So I'm just going to, oh, I forgot my respirator. One sec. Okay, so like I said, make sure you got your dust mask on. Yeah, I didn't plan this very well. <sighs> so every so often, stop drilling, check your hole, make sure the alignment's still good, and take it really slow. Not a lot of pressure.
There you go. So I'm just going to clean up this dust a little bit and get it all together. Okay, let's uh, fire it up and see what we got. So I'm just going to use a regular house brick in front to um, pull up any of my steel while I'm sitting there just so it doesn't flop out and stuff. So. so I'm getting, so my first try of heating up anything I'm just going to use this piece of uh, 3 8 round. Just gonna put it in there and see how it goes. Yeah, now that I'm able to get it right into flame, it is actually getting to more of a yellow heat. So, for a 3 8 round, I, I would be able to forge that. So, so I hope you guys like this video. Um, you know, help out the channel. Um, all the links below to how, how to help me out and stuff and uh, get better lighting, better sound and overall better quality of videos. Um, all those links are down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.